Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the evening forecast discussion for February 19th, 2014. It's currently 6.24 p.m. And we have temperatures ranging from the mid-30s over the interior, upper 30s to lower 40s over the New York City metropolitan area, and lower to mid-40s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area. And, of course, the warmest spot is in southeast New Jersey, where temperatures are in the upper 40s. We've had some rain, we had some snow today, yes snow, that was a bit of a surprise, especially over portions of northern New Jersey in the Hudson River Valley, and we also had some significant freezing rain. The good news is that everyone's above freezing now, we're starting to melt some of that ice off. Temperatures tonight are going to fall into the upper 20s to lower 30s as we have some clearing skies and a little bit more tranquil weather conditions heading into tomorrow. We actually warm up this weekend. Enjoy it while you can. Because what I'm looking at for next week, unfortunately, does not look very pretty. Not at all. So let's get to the good news first. The good news first is that on our radar, we have rainfall exiting the region. High pressure is going to take control. Tomorrow is actually looking really nice. Friday, much of the day on Friday is actually looking pretty nice as well. Friday evening into Saturday morning, not so much. So we have one disturbance moving through. All this is our dry air for tomorrow. And then we have another developing disturbance here over the Mississippi River Valley with the approaching cold front that's going to bring the potential for periods of heavy rain on Friday evening. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see the warm front that produced our freezing rain and snow and even rain along the coast is lifting north and east into the Canadian Maritimes. We have a weak cold front moving through that's going to fall apart, and then high pressure is going to be in control for tomorrow. Then, more disturbances out west, as we just have this stream of disturbances approaching the region, unfortunately. And when we take a look at the water vapor satellite picture, we can see that even more clearly. We have this specific pattern, kind of allowing the whole winter pattern to reload a bit. And so as a result, we're having mild air invade much of the United States, for this weekend. Again, enjoy it while it lasts because it's not going to last much longer. So, with this type of pattern, we actually end up with temperatures above normal for once. We're talking about 50s this weekend for highs. Very nice, very comfortable. I'm going to be very excited about that for this upcoming weekend. Unfortunately, like I said, pardon me, on Monday, temperatures just take a nosedive, and then Wednesday, and next Friday uh, does not look pretty as March looks like to be coming in like a very angry lion. So let's take a look at the European model guidance here. So here we are for tonight. We have our storm, uh, basically our high pressure system taking control, one storm leaving. For tomorrow, look for temperatures to rebound into the upper 40s to lower 50s for highs. For Friday, a cold front will be approaching the region. Much of the day will be dry with very warm southwesterly winds. Look for temperatures to range from the upper 30s to lower 40s for lows, lower to mid 50s for highs. If this cold front is delayed a little bit, some locations, let's say around Atlantic City, could easily push into the upper 50s to around 60 degrees before the cold front moves through with showers and even a few embedded thunderstorms. Nothing severe, just a bit of a reminder that, hey, spring isn't, isn't that far away, maybe about 50 days away. So with this cold front moving through, we'll have another round of rainfall. Now you would, you would think that the cold air would take hold by the weekend, but it's going to be delayed a little bit because we have our true polar and arctic air mass still back here in Canada. So we'll kind of get clipped a little bit. So as a result... The low temperatures by Saturday morning will range from the lower to mid 30s, but the high temperatures will rebound into the lower to mid 50s again under a westerly wind down sloping off the Appalachian Mountains. All the cold air is really staying balled up here in Canada, and quite frankly, they could keep it there. On Sunday, high pressure and control once again. Tranquil weather conditions. Now, cold from will be approaching Sunday evening into Monday morning. And we're going to have to watch a wave of low pressure for Monday morning. On Sunday, increasing clouds, still nice. Temperatures in the lower to mid 30s for lows, upper 40s to lower 50s for highs. Then on Monday, we have that disturbance moving through. 
I'm not all that impressed with it, but it could produce a few scattered snow showers on Sunday night into Monday morning. Looking for temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s for lows. High temperatures are still going to be in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Pretty much normal for this time of year. Now, by Monday night into Tuesday morning, cold air finally invades the region. And we're looking for lower to mid 20s for lows, mid to upper 30s for highs, high pressure and control. This Arctic air mass and this uh, Arctic high pressure system basically extends from the Canadian plains all the way to the east coast. And so then you have this wave of low pressure developing over the south via the subtropical jet stream, which is right here. And you have this strong disturbance diving down from the polar jet stream. Combine all these factors together, have a nice ridge in the west, have some blocking the Atlantic with even a pseudo negative NAO pattern, and you have your polar vortex dropping into the Hudson Bay, and you have everything all set up for unfortunately another major winter storm for Tuesday night into Wednesday. And this one could be significant with some heavy snowfall for all of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. So that's going to have to definitely be watched. And then moving forward beyond that, when we look at the next 10 days and really zoom in on this, if it loads or not. <laughs> Well, basically, from Friday on, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be ending up with a pattern that's going to support another major winter storm just in time for Friday. Yeah, oh, here we go. It just loaded right now. And uh, uh, Get ready. I'm, I'm going to scare you a bit. Boom. One major powerful winter storm with very cold air, a dynamic low-pressure system, and a negatively tilted trough. This one could be rather nasty uh, with the blocking in the northern Atlantic all set up. So I uh, go ahead to keep an eye on that storm and see how it evolves. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there.